Hello everyone, this is Blue Zone Cons. We are now back to Sly Cooper and the Devious Raccoon is part 16. Almost done with this. What are we doing in this part? Do a few more missions and uh, kick uh, kick the ever living shit out of uh, Poe. We're not taking any more po. DreamWorks and prevent any more DreamWorks movies to to happen. We can't defeat Poe. He's a dragon warrior. That's we, impossible. We have to defeat Poe, otherwise Boss Baby will get a sequel. I mean, it's already getting a sequel. No! <laughs> and it has an animated Isn't show it? on Netflix. That I know. Yeah, oh, of course. I was just about to ring that up. Well, I'm minding my post when I notice a snow cone stand. Oh, my God. Hey, Murray, you got to keep your energy up. So I heard yes, let's eat ice cream where it fucking snows. God. What, you don't, you've never had ice cream during the winter? I forgot how much of a fucking wet. I have. I forgot how much of a fucking a wet blanket Murray is in this game. Like I said, he's a bitch in this game. Wow, but Murray, he gets that's pretty fucking racist. <laughs> ah, no wonder he's your favorite character. I said I hate Murray. Well, in this game anyway. Yeah, same bullshit racing mission with Murray. Just you know, do the same thing, but with ice. No, to be honest, the controls doesn't really feel all that different. So it's still shit regardless. What the? We're playing fucking bumper cars over there. Does, yep. it, does this control like an RC car? Like one of those top down RCs game? Uh, like that one Mario Party 2 mini game? It's like that one Kirby Air Ride mini game? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. I, I don't know. It's been like I that forgot, many since I played I forgot games. how bad that was. Oh my god. That game is really not too good. It's... What, Kirby Air Riders? Yeah. I thought I, I heard good things about it. It's a specific taste. I, I uh, played the hell out of it. I'm gonna be honest, everyone just hypes up the city trial mode. Well, that, that's the best part of the game. That's the only part of the game you play. And, like, I tried it, I was like, huh, this is some, I've been, this is what I've been listening to all these years. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, well, oh, shock and uh, awe, oh, Twitter, gaming Twitter, hyping up a game that's not as good as it really is. Or oh, no, this is one much. of my closest, one of my closest online friends. I mean, it still kind of goes in. We still have people praising the ever-living shit out of Persona 5 and Fire Emblem Three Houses. I mean, to be fair, Persona 5 just got a re-release. Yeah, I know. H how's the treating you, by the way? I haven't touched it. I've been playing Animal Crossing. Those stupid monkeys. They got lucky and beat. Uh, Jesus Christ, Murray. Calm I'm down, man. Used to driving on the wrong side of the road. Wrong side of the... Just get the key, Murray. Murray, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Please, Murray. No Johns. <laughs> Don't be racist. No, but like, I'm gonna play Royal eventually, but I've already played the game. You know, I just kind of. But I heard it. like it fixes like it has some quality of life issues, so it's like it fixes the pacing people had. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I wanted to go back and play Persona Five anyway, so I just wanted to use that as an excuse to go back. But I, you know, I know Persona Five, and you know, it's uh, honestly, it's. Uh, I'm not even doing it for a waifu because if I play Persona 5 again, I am picking Makoto. There is no other option. I don't even know if I'll ever finish Persona 5. Oh, yeah, you might as well just stop playing it. I mean, I haven't played it since. What was it maybe. Last year? Uh, June, of, June of last year yeah, or July? I mean, you might as well just not play anymore considering Royals out. Again, what, what's the difference besides it's, what Deji mentioned? Uh, it's like quality of life changes, and it's going to be a slightly different story. So. Oh. Because it's like Persona 4 and Persona 4 Golden. Those are those are technically two different games. Hmm. Well, what about a port for the Switch? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Duke Atlas puts out a survey. Are people interested in a Persona 5 Switch port? Atlas is borderline idiotic. They really are. What, 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 what puts Joker and Smash Brothers? It's, people are curious to play Persona 5 because... I, 
I feel like That's Persona definitely. fans are in the definition of a cuckold relationship. <laughs> I just find it hilarious that, like, Sega bought Atlas, and Sega themselves as a company got better after that purchase. But Atlas seems to be... Getting worse. Yeah. But that makes me wonder if they just bought them as a subsidiary, and they still have all the freedom to do whatever they want. No, because like the because the Sega C current CEO said that we learned, like Atlas gave us some advice to be better, and we like we want to put out quality titles now. So I was well, like, okay. I guess I guess they switched personalities then. Yeah. A soul for a soul. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I mean, you know, remember it was a bit so who can buy Atlas? I was just wondering. Was when just did so, they buy Atlas again? Two thousand sixteen. No, 14. Oh, 14? 14, huh. 14 15. Because I'm going to be honest, Sonic aside, Sega's pretty much hit batting a thousand with their content. No, well, Yakuza. Oh, 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 you meant. No, wait, that's I meant, a good thing. That's a good yeah, thing. I'm, I'm in, a, in a good thing. Yeah, yeah, in a good way. They're, they're doing a pretty stand up job. Yeah. You know, they're, it looks like they're taking uh, Word of Heart for Panzer Dragoon and they're going to update it. And make it better. Yeah, uh, so they, it's because the patch. I think the patch just came out today. Oh, cool. Then I might actually buy it then. Because, you know, it looks like Star Fox just with dragons, which automatically makes it better. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting that game. It looks really nice. <laughs> Instead of being a furry, I can just be a dragon, which is better. You can, you can just be, be a, a scaly. scaly. <laughs> What's the difference, Peppa? Because dragons are cool. They are cool. Speaking of dragons, you guys ever seen Dragonheart? Such a classic movie. Dragonheart? No. Yeah, Dragonheart. You know, live action. The Sean movie. Connery movie. No. Sean Connery movie. Dragonheart. Nope. I remember you mentioned this during Spyro. I did. Huh. It's a good movie. Very touching. Nineteen ninety six. Nineteen ninety six. Yep. Ah. Uh... Nah, this ain't ringing a bell. Huh. I recommend you should watch it. Wait, there's Dragonheart like... and then there's Dragonheart Vengeance? No, just watch the first one. Don't watch anything, any other sequels. Especially oh. the one with fucking Francis with Malcolm in the middle and I think he's in the second one. Oh, oh it's one of those. Yeah. So it's like Seeker of the Nim. Sure. Yeah, actually, yes, that's exactly what it is. Except at least there was only I like mean... one sequel. For 96, the dragon doesn't look that bad. It looks kind of like a... A Jurassic Park animatronic, but... I mean, originally they wanted to use an animatronic, but, you know, technology couldn't work and yeah, but would have cost way too much money. Jurassic Park was able to combine animatronics with CG. That's true. Also, another chasing level with Carmelita. But the thing about Jurassic Park is that pretty much, if you if you remember from the first Jurassic Park, pretty much yeah. all of like the dinosaurs and chase scenes were at night. So, yeah. so they pretty much used the like night shading to like kind of hide the the early CG and like combine it with the with the animatronics to make it look real. It, that movie was va made very smart. Yeah. It was. But was it, was it Jurassic Park the reason why uh, Lucas wants us to do do the prequels or the CG, or is it? I might think of another movie. Um. Well, no, no, no. George Lucas has nothing to do with Jurassic Park. That's Steven Spielberg. No, he knows. He just wants a. He wanted to know if that was the reason why George Lucas went back to Star Wars. Because of Jurassic Park. Um, no, because Jurassic Park three came out in two thousand. I believe Phantom Menace came out before Jurassic Park. Phantom 3. Menace came out in ninety nine. Really? Where well, did Jurassic? Yeah, ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. No, Jurassic no, no. World yeah, yeah. I, I thought I. Th I'm sorry. I got that mixed up for Jurassic. Uh, yeah. Jurassic Park three came out in. 2001. So yeah, Phantom Menace came out before Jurassic Park 3. 
Man, there's a lot of intense stuff going on here. Oh yeah, it's just Com Kamali is just not, saying she ain't not aiming for shit. Yeah, yeah she ain't messing around now. Speaking of Lucas, she's aiming as good as a stormtrooper. Yeah. No, no, her her shots have a purpose. Also, I'm kind of pissed off about the one thing about uh, Jedi Fallen Order is that the stormtroopers have good aim. That's bullshit. What's that? The Star Troopers actually are a challenge? No, that's How dare I how dare that happen? That's inaccurate. They should they should have horrible. It's inaccurate, aim. but it's a good inaccuracy. I, I prefer it. They actually are No, confident. but it should be funny because if you play as a stormtrooper, I'm I'm just saying like in any like Star Wars game, it you yeah. should actively like your blaster should actively be inaccurate. That'd be so funny. You see, I don't get why the whole stormtroopers blasters are completely inaccurate considering who they're based off of. What, Nazis? No, no, no. Yeah. No, the clones of Jango Oh, Bell. oh, clones No, Jango. no, st the stormtroopers are not clones. Yeah, uh, stormtroopers aren't clones. Only clone troopers are clones. Yeah. Okay. The, the reason why is because after, you know, when he rose to power became emperor, he decided to stop cloning because, one, they cost a lot of money. And I believe he was afraid that they would, like, uh, rebel. Turn on him, or if someone were to, you know, use the chips or whatever yeah, because against them. You do have to realize that, you know, all these clones pretty much became... Their own per person. Yeah, but they also became very close with the Jedi that they fought against, which Clone Wars pretty much tells you. And in Rebels, yeah. you, you have yeah. Rights. I was I was watching a couple episodes of with James the 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 one arc where the general was basically betraying them and sending them to die. Yeah, yeah. It's a really good arc. No, yeah. I mean, Clone Wars is fucking fantastic. But it, it is. It really does make that episode of Rebels like all worth it when you know that Rex and his two men pretty much rebelled and took the chips out, like. That's that's what I'm actually very interested in because I think the the final season of Clone Wars goes up to Order sixty six. It, 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 hypothetically, it should. I think that's what they said. And Dark Maul was in it. Well, he was in yeah, the, yeah, yeah. he was in the original Clone Wars uh, season. I, I, I know. It's just like man, I I love Dark Maul, but I feel like they kind of overuse him now. He, no, you're right. He is oversaturated, which is funny. It, it, it's like the uh, it, it's it's kind of like how the Fox X Men movies tr keep trying to make Magneto the villain in every single one. It's like actually now I'm the bad guy. It's like uh, yeah. I mean, one was. I mean, at, at least he's dead. Wait, what? Yeah, Darth Maul. He died. In what? In Rebels. Uh, Rebels. Obi Wan killed him. And oh, Tatooine. I thought you. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Magneto. Oh my god. I was like, wait, wait what? Oh, no. Magneto's in Star Wars, what? I mean, why not hire Ian McKellen as a fucking one of those uh, Imperial fucking generals or whatever? Oh, I mean, he would fit right in Star Wars. Yeah. Um, yo, what the fuck is wrong with his arms, man? He's got some Lanky Kong arms going on in that statue. <laughs> uh, I guess he's the next DLC character, confirmed for Smash. <laughs> <laughs> What is okay. guys? Arps will never be in Smash Brothers. Ah, smug. you know, Deji. If you don't start playing that character when they drop, I'm gonna call you out for it. Why? Well, my question is, why the fuck is he doing that? You know, put, you know, animation to standing while talking. It's like, it looks like he's got to take a piss. Yeah, I think he's, he's got, he's, but he's got company warm. over. He's like, shit, I gotta hold this in. I think he's just trying to warm up, especially since you know. The He's not wearing any shoes. I, I I know I get. It. I'm just making fun of like how. No, the way I, I get what Marcus is talking about. The Panic King's model bothers me. Yeah. His voice is. Weird. Yeah, it's. I mean, I, no offense to the the director that did this, but his voice is weird. I like. I don't know if he's actually. It, it sounds like J J Mambo Jumbo from Banjo Kazooie. If he was speaking his full sentences. Kind of. Yeah. He actually ran on the money. Take that, Jack Black. <laughs> Seriously, no, this boss is just... You know Jack Black has a YouTube channel, right? Yes, we all know I... that fucker got a million subscribers in like a week or less. I, I, I do gotta say, though... Congrats him, though. His, uh, his little icon down there is kind of cute. 
It looks like... Yeah, the I the icon changes as the more of his health range. It looks like a little Pokemon. It does. Yeah, he's weird. Yeah. I, his, I don't know, it's just... I think it's his arms that bother me. Like, because he's a bear. And his arms are just way too long and lanky for a bear. Yeah, but, you know, this is an anthro fucking cartoon. Yeah, but it's still... On the, on the PS2. It's, this game came out, what, 2002? Yes, 2002. Yeah. I think his model is better in Sly 3. Well, I hope so. Sly 3 came out in what, 2006? 2003? 4. No, 2004. Or 5. Yeah, I want to say. Look at that icon on, on his health. I mean, I would honestly. No. Poor Master Wu. That looks like it. That looks like you're just embarrassed, if more than anything, like drained or whatever. <laughs> he, he looks like the pan, uh, the panda from Run My Half. Oh my God, he does. From what? Run My Half. Run My One and a Half. That that's an old you know, school anime. Yo, if you okay, if you look at his crotch, it looks like he pissed himself. Like you see, like a big wet spot. I mean, I would too. <laughs> Whoa, did you just fucking brat? What? I guess they did. Pandas aren't always cute. Actually, pandas can be very aggressive if you fuck yes. them. Yes. Oh, yes. But they can. I it's like they're you. bears. Oh, wait, is that was that an idol animation he just did? Uh, no. Where he scratched his back and then he was kicking his leg? No, I, I had nothing to do with it. Gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Kuhl. Otto! Not known for his physical Shame we never got to see him in uh, Thieves in Time. It would have been nice. Yeah, well, they, they kind of did a plane level in Slide 3, didn't they? When Bentley insults a. Uh... They, 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 yeah, yeah, they did, but well, I'm just saying it's Bentley just up his, uh, Bentley just his goes ancestor in general. Bentley just goes complete gangster on that motherfucker? Yep. Oh, but he'll be back. Yeah, he'll be back. For a good reason. And remember, he killed people. He killed my dad. And my mom. I became Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I kind of, you know, it, you really, it is really is underlined that these people actually murdered Sly's parents. Yeah. That's, that's pretty fucked up. Oh, we don't know who else they murdered. Uh, like the Fiendish Five, pretty much played in part to his, you know, parents' death. So. That's that's legitimately horrible. It is. It is. They do deal with that uh, uh, Sly on, you know, not wanting to work with Bandy King and like Sly Three. So yeah, but I remember yeah, seeing the story for that, and that was. I mean, we'll cross that bridge, inevitable bridge, when we get to it. But I remember that was. Yeah. yeah. Oof. Oh yeah. Right, we'll see you guys in the next part then. All right. All right.